what is going on you guys Mr. Lepar here back again with another video hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day as always and I want to talk about something that the amazing spider-man 1 games I always felt did way better than Insomniac's first Spider-Man PS4 game. Now you guys are probably like, whoa, uh, this guy's pretty much saying the Amazing Spider-Man had better stuff. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's certain features that the Amazing Spider-Man had, and for personally for me, that I felt that was way better than what Spider-Man PS4 gave us. And I think some of those features would have to be when you're able to rip up your costume this is one of the features that i really thought was really well done in the amazing spider-man video games is when thugs and characters would literally like beat the crap out of you with a crowbar or a gun or they would shoot you and your costume throughout the game would get ripped up now i always felt spider-man ps4 was going to have this mechanic in when the game first started now they did have something like that because I remember I was playing as the classic suit. I did the whole classic suit. Uh, my first ever playthrough, I ended up doing it in the classic suit. And when I was in the Sinister Six battle, my classic suit in the actual game well, it had like mud and like different things on it. But it was never really like... I never felt like it was really like realistic where it was like they were going to get into like, oh, this guy's going to get a bunch of rips in his costume. Kind of like the Tobey Maguire suit where you know, half of his mask is ripped off and like you can see that the lenses are literally broken in his eye and like he's bleeding and stuff like that never happened. But the Amazing Spider-Man with all the terrible stuff we've gotten from that, which, you know, I don't mind the game. Like it's, there, there's not much to really hate. The story is well done, I, I find. And you know, like when you're just web swinging, like it's all right. But the second one I do have issues with. But that mechanic where you're literally getting your whole costume ripped up and you're you're just getting cuts you're bleeding edge of time kind of had something like that where your costume would be damaged but the whole edge of time suit was already damaged anyways but i always felt like if spider-man ps4 can harness this mechanic but like use animation so like if you're web swinging and half of your stuff was like like clawed out by the lizard and you know you've just defeated him and you're you're just going down New York City and all this stuff and you're you're just swinging it would be cool if like half of that suit that you had like if you just clawed it would just fly off in the wind or something like that would be really cool or even if his mask like if you're getting punched by thugs and if you're not dodging and you're being careless in the video game uh, you know like you should have your lenses at least cracked or something that would make the player be like, okay, like, if you want to keep the suit nice and clean, man, like, you better, you better go full on, like, fighting all these villains, and I just feel like this mechanic, for it to be that realistic, would be very nice, I think it would be very, uh, you know, like, it'd be slick, like, it, it would just be like, okay, you know, like, it, we're, we're going down, like, we're fighting Hobgoblin, he throws a pumpkin bomb at you, and you get blown up, like, half of your suit is going to be black from that explosion, and it's going to be half destroyed. Like, stuff like that with the costumes. Uh, because, you know, with every single costume, there's different things. Like, if you're in the Iron Spider suit, what you could do, and if you're also in, like, MK2 or whatever, and people are shooting at you, and your, your costume, like, the metal on the costume or whatever material that was in it, uh, it could get, like, dented, it could crack, like, stuff like that would be really nice and like let's just say that you're doing a full playthrough on like iron spider or whatever now this 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 mechanic would be going like full on uh but like let's just say like okay like the time of day like if you're playing as a week like in a week like as in that costume in the game for one whole week it would be cool if like your costume could get like rusty so if you're using the iron spider suit it could get really damaged, you know, if you're swinging in the rain, rain and stuff like that. It probably doesn't make sense since it's Stark Tech. But some kind of thing, if you guys know what I'm talking about, would be really cool. So, I always just felt like the Amazing Spider-Man had the kind of first stages of this kind of stuff with their costumes. Now, I always felt like when I would play as the Sam Raimi suit, or suits like the Kane one, I never really felt like... I was getting any damage control done because 
I don't know if it was just me playing the game, but I never felt like I was getting enough cuts. But I always felt like it was cool and unique when you got that uh, in a Spider-Man video game because it's just like, okay, this just makes it more realistic. And that's a kind of feature that I would really like personally for me. But those are just like, that's just like one feature out of like all that branch out. Because if you're just talking about that, then we can talk about, okay, well, these certain costumes are going to do certain things when... Uh, with, the, with the weather patterns and stuff, but it would be really cool that, you know, if you're fighting Scorpion or something and you get stuff in your eyes, uh, and then after you fight him, it would be cool if he, like, could take his mask off as he's swinging, you know, that would be cool. Or maybe if he was on a rooftop, like, you know, the odd time he'll take it off. And, like, you can have it in your hand, and you can just walk around, you know, and then you can jump off a building and you put it right back on. Like, that would be really cool. And I know a lot of people were talking about like, oh, well, you know, it'd be cool if we could have Toby, Tom, and Andrew Spider-Man all in one. I did like a Spider-Verse video. But like, if you take your mask off and you're Peter Parker in a certain costume, imagine if they did like the actual like face recognition things where they could have that. Like, I don't know, like that would be really cool. But the Amazing Spider-Man did have that feature and I never really felt like Insomniac took it to the next level as in like, you know getting your suit damaged like they did a little bit but like come on like mud on your costume and stuff like you know when i was playing as the classic suit i was just like when can i get the cuts and stuff and they had to actually have a alternate suit and it was a damaged classic suit and it just didn't make any sense because it was just like well why can't we just have this in the first place with each costume so you know it definitely would take a lot of work Probably I don't know. I'm not a developer, but it would take a lot of work to do something like that uh, You know if they did that with every costume But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what these kind of features is this something that you guys would like to see? But anyways as always if you guys are new around here Do make sure to subscribe like share and turn your notifications on if you guys want to see any more Spider-Man PS5 theory ideas videos, you know, we're throwing it all out there. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to come out. I uh, hope it comes out soon. But as always, guys, peace out.